Hello everyone, it's Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green and today I am doing the best of skincare tag. I know this is like the oldest tag. It was started by Titi Sandra and Ashley from Makeup TIA and I remember seeing this tag going around around March last year so it's almost a year old but I was binge watching <laughs> Andy the Green Queen's YouTube videos and I saw that she tagged me on hers. So thank you for tagging me. I felt so special and I was so excited. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get right on it and do my best of skincare tag. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the questions right here and I will just read from this. And the first question is, what is your skin type? My skin type is oily in the summer and oily dry in the winter. I do live in Oklahoma, so it's very humid in the summer. So I have like really oily skin and in the winter it's very dry and cold so I have like oily t-zone and then dry cheeks and I do suffer from hormonal acne now as an adult. As a teen I was put on Accutane. I went through one round of that to get rid of my acne. It was terrible. I'm still trying to correct the scars left behind from the acne that I did have as a teen. The next question is how do you store your skincare products? I have a cabinet in the bathroom. I know that's like a no-no because of all the steam and stuff in the shower, but I am very aware of that and try to keep all the bathroom door open at all times whenever it's not in use. And I try to limit the amount of skincare that I have in the bathroom. Like I only have all the skincare that I am currently using and the new ones or the unopened Bottles of goodies are in my closet, tucked away where it's dark and cool and dry, so that way they won't degrade. But I've never had a problem with um, storing my skincare in the bathroom. I just like it there because it's so much easier to hop out of the shower and then do my skincare right away while my skin is still nice and clean. And I think it would just be a, such a huge hassle to go to another room to do my skincare. So in the bathroom, it stays. The next question is, what is your favorite ingredient? And I would have to say turmeric. Um, I feel like it's very healing to my skin. I love doing turmeric and yogurt masks. I have it in this Olena beauty oil that I use whenever I'm suffering from breakouts. It's very healing, I feel. And I also have turmeric pills. They are in little capsules and it's very good with inflammation. I even take it as an alternative to taking like a Tylenol or something around that time of the month because it's a really good anti-inflammatory. And then as very, very close runner-ups, I love honey. I love doing honey masks and having honey in my skincare. And then I also love rosehip seed oil. And I actually have this one by Pi that I absolutely love for helping regenerate the skin. And recently I've come across Moringa and prickly pear seed oil that I'm also loving, like in this soap voila balm. This is just a little sample that came in a pettibore box. But dear lord, <laughs> I love this product. I need to get a full size of this. When I have really active breakouts, I just lather that on and it's so healing and I love it. The next question is the most indulgent product. And I would have to say it would have to be Mahalo's The Bean because this just feels like slathering chocolate icing on your face. So what is more indulgent than having chocolate? It smells like chocolate. I like what it does for my skin, but especially the experience of having it on my face. Like I have chocolate slathered all over my face. That is what I feel is the most indulgent. And the next question is the best budget buy. And I have two products that I would like to mention. The first being this Heritage Store Rose Water. This has water and rose essential oils in it. It's like, I think I paid $20 for a three pack of this on Amazon. I absolutely love this as a toner. It's very hydrating and kind of calming to my skin. And I also use this to mix up powder masks. And the next one is the Indian Healing Clay, or also known as Bentonite Clay. I've gone through many of these giant jars of this. I've used this the longest. Like I said, I have acne-prone skin, and I reach for this when I get congested pores, which happens once a month, like clockwork. And this just takes care of that, and it brings my skin back to balance. There's nothing fancy about it. I mix it with apple cider vinegar and rose water, let it sit on my face, and it just takes care of everything. Next question is, do you use any tools like a Clarisonic or a Foreo? I did use a Clarisonic 
for a year or so a while ago and I realized that it was doing more bad for my skin than good so I gave up on that. Um, I did use a Konjac sponge that came in a Petty War box that I liked but I really didn't feel like it was necessary so I quit using it and so right now these are my tools and occasionally I will pull out a washcloth to get all of my makeup off. I say occasionally because I really don't wear makeup on an everyday basis and when I'm not wearing makeup then I just go in with a cleanser and I don't even use a washcloth then. So the next question is best mask. This is like asking me which of my kids I like best. <laughs> I had to think long and hard about this because each mask that is in my arsenal I feel I reach for for whatever my skin needs and they do different things. So the first one I was thinking about okay I need something to decongest so I reach for my bentonite clay to decongest that's like the most powerful skin decongestant and pore purifier but I don't feel like it's really good at exfoliating so I was thinking like the Iuna Essence is beautiful at exfoliating the skin but it doesn't really do anything as far as decongesting. I thought about the Cleopatra mask. This is by Little Fox and they call it their restorative milk and honey beauty mask. This was a sidekick in a beauty heroes box and the jungle glow was the hero for that month but this was the sidekick but this was the hero for me because it is a clay mask and it's a powder mask. This is an empty. It's a powder mask that has clay in it that decongested my pores and it also had papaya and pineapple enzymes so it exfoliated my skin and it's not drying because it has milk and honey in there so I feel like for the best mask this wins it does everything that I want in a face mask so best multi-use um, so I looked at all of the skincare that I have best multi-use and there wasn't really like one thing that did everything but the closest that I've come to is this jojoba oil and this was in a bigger jar I just put it in a small jar because I was I'm almost out um, I use this as a hair oil like I put it on the ends of my hair to tame the frizz I've used it as an oil cleanser to remove makeup and I've also used it as a body oil it can't get any more multi-use than that so jojoba or even argan oil would also be good Next question is the best spot treatment and I have two that I would like to mention. I like to use Manuka essential oil whenever I have like deep cystic acne and I feel like it just helps clarify it and heal it. The way that I like to use it is either mixed in with the Olena so that way it's carrier oil because this bottle is pure essential oil so I don't ever want to put pure essential oil on my skin. So I either um, dilute it with Olena or I take in a cotton pad and put a drop of the jojoba oil um, and a drop of the manuka and just dabbed it on the spots. Manuka is like tea tree but it's um, gentler on the skin than tea tree is so I really like it. And then the next one is by Cozrx. I know this is not a green product um, and it's their Acne Pimple Master Patch by Cozrx. And these are these little dots that you just pop on a pimple and I reach for this when I have like a pimple that I want to pop and I know you shouldn't pick at your pimples so I just put one on the spot before I go to bed and the next morning I take it off and all of that gunk that was once in my pimple you peel it off and it's been absorbed into the little patches that I put the manuka oil on because it's like an antiseptic also so that way it won't get infected um, but yeah that's how I take care of spots on my face next question another hard one if you had to stick to one skincare brand what would it be I feel like to have a rounded skincare routine my favorites are all from different brands so I looked at a brand that has everything, that has a clay mask, that has a hydrating mask, that has a cream moisturizer because a lot of green brands don't have a good hydrating cream moisturizer and also not all green brands have SPF so I chose Andalou Naturals because they have cream cleansers, they have foamy cleansers which I like cream cleansers for the winter, foamy cleansers in the summer they have the 1000 Roses Beautiful Day Cream is my favorite day cream and they have a brightening line which I've only tried one product from. They have a 
hydrating line, they have a clarifying line that I haven't tried yet, but I'm sure I'll find something if I just had to stick to one skincare brand. I think it would be Andalou Naturals, and it's also budget friendly. They have an SPF, they have face oils, so I think it's a really good, well-rounded brand. It's just a matter of picking and choosing which will work for my skin type. So the next question was super easy. Favorite step to the skin on my skincare routine, and that would be masking, of course. Um, do I need to say more about that? I feel like masking feels like such a treat, but at the same time, I feel like it's necessary for my skin. <laughs> I can address different skin issues through masking, whether it be addressing dehydration. You can put on a hydrating mask if you're suffering from congestion. You can apply a detoxifying mask if your skin is a little dull. An exfoliating mask. So it just addresses so many issues and you get like almost immediate results from using a mask. So I really like that. Instant gratification, right? So yeah, I really try to make that a priority in my skincare. I feel like my skin is better for it. And the last question is, what is in your skincare wish list? and I really want to try Earthwise Beauty's Nap in the Meadow. First of all, I love the blue color. It has aloe in it. I really like an aloe-based serum. It has turmeric, which I told you is one of my favorite skincare ingredients, and it has all these beautiful ingredients that I think that would address everything that I am trying to do for my skin as far as it being anti-inflammatory, hydrating, it has antioxidants, and to also heal my skin. So I would really love to try the Earthwise Beauty's Nap in the Meadow. Which is funny enough because I first heard of the Nap in the Meadow through Andy, through watching one of her videos. And she tagged me to do this video. So yeah, I thought it was funny how that worked out. So that is it for my best of skincare tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it's super late. Um, thank you, Andy, for tagging me. It made me feel really special. I tag whoever has not done this. If you're watching this and you haven't done this tag and you make YouTube content, um, I tag you because like I said, I'm probably the last one to be doing this. <laughs> so that is it. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!